Hey up lads and lasses, it's Danfire here, back again with some more Infinite Blood Crimes. So, as last video, we talked about the Jambai, and I did mention the SC002. It's only fair that I probably show off what it's, you know, sort of useful for. So, very, very similar to the Balancer Anderson, this does actually make a pretty decent anti... Uh, well, a screen for your uh, fighters. To make it such a decent screen, the same way as the Jambai, you come into the enhancement systems on the propulsion first, picking up the triple evasion mods. Yes, it has triple evasion mods that does put it into a position where it does just as well as a screen as the Jambaya, uh, as the Jambai, as the Balancer Anderson. You can then further go into the electronic system, picking up Reduced chance of being hit by direct fire weapons, being hit by guided weapons, and you can even reduce the target selection time of the weapon systems. Uh, so you can actually push this into a position where it's probably going to get ahead of even the Balancer Anderson. Uh, the issue with it is it's a little bit squidgier than the Balancer Anderson. Uh, it's got like a lower base HP, if I remember rightly. Uh, where's my balancers? Yeah. I haven't got any armor system mods uh, on here, just the propulsion system. As you can see, I don't quite use this at its full potential because I don't have the tech points. But you can see at base, we got 3,000 odd HP here uh, versus the SC7, uh, SC002's 2,700 base HP. So like I said, a little bit squidgier uh, than the balancer. But, you know, if you don't have the balancer and you have this and you need a screen for your fleet, it does the, the same role. After you picked up those mods, there generally it really isn't all that much to uh, sort of pick up. Again, you're ignoring that strategy. You want it out. You can go into the HP system, picking up double HP here and reducing the direct fire weapons further. And yeah, that's where I personally leave this ship. I wouldn't go into the cannon system. It really doesn't do much at 25 damage per hit. It's got a you know pretty long duration on it, a longer cooldown. The lock-on time's decent though. With that other uh, lock-on time, you get that well under the three-second mark, so it does get ahead of everything else. If you do want to push more into it, going double hit rate against fighters and uh, double cooldown is the way to go here. 10% damage buff is only going to give you 2.5 damage where the cooldown on this rather uh, slow-firing weapon is going to help out quite a bit. So, I think that's pretty much it. I guess you could go and finish off the jamming picking up. I'd probably pick up one of the jamming durations and one of the system cooldowns. I think that's all the slots you've got left there. And yeah. So there you go. As good as the balancer. Uh, a little bit worse than the balancer but definitely fills that same role maybe you're in a position where you're gonna go well screw all the guy who's running air so you run this and the balancer and all your anti-air behind these two screens and a void elf and screen as well and um definitely a possibility there i know that aircraft can be a bit tight to fit um i've been running like a full 118 aircraft recently it's 118 because i'm running hayridden so i've got eight so that's where the two extra sort of like missing instead of 120 aircraft um and yeah the screen does work on the balancer anderson it should work on the SC002, the basically identical ships in the first place anyway. Uh, and, you know, you could definitely consider running like this massive screen front out in front of all of your aircraft uh, that you want to keep alive. Definitely uh, a possibility there to play around with. So, yeah, not a completely redundant ship. Uh, same as the Balancer, a lot of people thought that. Uh, I... Like I said, I had Discord messages. Why is the why do we keep seeing Balancer Anderson and stuff like that? Same reason for the SC002. You might start seeing them. Uh, good screens, great evasion, loads of things to reduce chance of hit. It's again like the flying special Carillion of your Earth fleet. Uh, so yeah, don't sleep on it. Definitely check it out. Give it a go. Uh, or the Balancer Anderson, or both. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.